Right, I just wanted to show you a bit more on the uh, Xperia X10. Uh, this time, I'm going to go into. Uh, let's get the. Let's get this gear stick out of the way. It's most cumbersome, isn't it? This time, I'm going to go into MediaScape. So hopefully, you can see that there. Um, and here, it's going to show me all my photos that I've taken, any web photos from any online service. So if I tap there, it says um, select your online service. So I've got to set one up and then choose one now I can either choose from Facebook or Picasso now for some reason Flickr doesn't appear to be on there I don't know why but I can choose Facebook and I can tie it in with my uh, Facebook profile and then it's going to show me all of my friends um, pictures when they post a picture online um, yeah there is only those two by the looks of it Shame there isn't more included to be honest. Let's just try and select services and then. No, there's only two. Well, you never know, perhaps an update is going to uh, add in more. But here on the Mediascape, I can see all the music that I've got. If I tap on music here, I can see I've got no music whatsoever. I can um, set up an online service on that one as well. Let's just put a tick in there. And there's only one service uh, here, and it appears to be this Play Now system here. So I select that, and then we can go back and it'll connect in. And you can see here I've got top tracks. I like that one there. Let's choose that one. This is Pass Out or Pass Out by uh, Tiny Temper. Man, I can buy it for a pound. So you can see it ties in with um, online media um, sort of sites. You can click on that one, and I presume it'll get a little preview audio going on. Just make sure it's turned up. There you go, so you can download and listen to tracks using Play Now on there. If we go to video, uh, let's just press video again, it swooshes off, goes into video. This one doesn't seem to integrate with any online service. I would expect YouTube to be on here, but it just seems to show me my videos that I've recorded. Yep, that's a bit of a shame that. So that's the um, Mediascape um, system. As I said before in the earlier video, you can add in widgets here. So if I want to add in a digital clock, I can do that and drag it around. Press and hold. Choose a widget. And then we can... It doesn't seem to be a huge range of widgets that I've seen on the HTC handsets. We've got an analog clock, a digital clock, Calendar, Facebook, picture frame, settings, search, timescape, or web or thumbnail. So that appears to be it. Um, you can choose uh, shortcuts, folders, or wallpapers. So if I have a shortcut to, let's see if I can find YouTube off here. Hmm, no YouTube either. Uh, that's a bit strange. Let's just see if we can find YouTube on here. There it is. Now I can't. The only other way of getting that YouTube to the main screen, I guess, would be to go down here, press and hold it, and then drag it on the screen that way. Um, I don't know why I can't do that through the other way of doing it, which would be press and hold and go shortcut normally. If I wanted a shortcut to a program, I could just choose that. Bookmark, oh no, applications, there you go. And then you choose it through there, I guess. Yeah. Okay, so you can, you can put it on that way. So let's go into YouTube. I'll just show you that. Loading some of the videos. And then we can click on uh, another Sony Ericsson video here. And that will show that on screen.
So there you go, so you can watch YouTube online. And also, of course, we've got the Google Maps system, which uh, we can go in through maps there. And we can see where we are. If I go to menu and my location, it'll use the GPS that's built into this phone and find out exactly where I am. I can, of course, choose layers. I can have a look at the satellite imagery instead of the normal map imagery. And we can then zoom in like that. And then, if you wish, you can press and hold on a certain area, and then you can go straight to street view. And then you get the street view that you've seen on your uh, computer. A lovely picturesque lane there. Again, the Google Maps car has been down a very small lane. I can press on menu and I can choose compass mode. And that means that I basically move the phone around and it moves the picture around. As if I'm standing in the lane moving my head around. Um, so that's a quick look at the Xperia X10 and some of the functionality and we'll bring more videos in the coming days.